Fellow auto detailers, welcome to the show that features interviews with today's most successful auto detailers. This is the Auto Detailing Podcast. Here's your host, Jimbo Balaam. Hey, what's up, everyone, and welcome to this episode of the Auto Detailing Podcast. I'm Jimbo, your host, and thanks for checking out this episode. This episode is brought to you by autofiber.com, autofiber.com. CA and autofiber.com.au. So whether you're in Canada, the US or Australia, you can check out all the goodies that Autofiber has to offer if you go to those websites. Also brought to you by the detailer innercircle.com. You know, I get asked a lot, how where do I start in my detailing business? How do I grow it? How do I get clients? All all these things, right? Or how do I how do I build an asset that one day I can sell my business as an asset, not just the equipment that I use. And we have tons of modules. We have ongoing Q&A calls, marketing tips. We stay abreast with the latest and greatest in the marketing space. And I partnered up with a buddy of mine named Pete, who's a marketing expert. I tailor everything towards the detailers and kind of have the detailing side of everything handled. But if you're even remotely interested in any of the things I just said, I encourage you to check out detailerinnercircle.com. So you can... Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right. Welcome to this episode of uh, the Auto Detailing Podcast, and we're in a super special place. Long time coming. Yes, sir. We're with the OG LA detailer, Mr. <laughs> Claude Harris. Thanks All for right. coming back on. You've been yeah. on the show a few times, and yes, this sir. is so cool. This has been years in the making, right? And, yes, sir. And this is, this is what I think the podcast, the detailing community, the, the IDA events, the events in general are all about. And, and if we can culminate kind of all of that into one moment or one thing, I think this is it. And I'm so happy you're close enough that we could do it in person. Yes, yes and, absolutely. And, uh, and what we're talking about is we are sitting in the office because the AC is running because the, the warehouse is a little hot. Now, is right that going to bother? The no, sound? Okay. it'll be fine. Okay. Um, but, uh, but this is your shop, man. Yes, sir. This is this is the final appearance coding studio, studio. shop, right? Yes. yes. So we've talked about it. You've kind of laid out your your vision for what you thought this would become this day. Yes. Kind of, and, and so catch us up to speed on that. Even though other people that have followed the podcast yes. for a long time and they've heard your story, so we don't need to go into detail about your your story. But tell us what you were looking for, kind of your thought pattern leading up to where we're sitting. Well, it started, it, it, you know, you know how the industry has been changing. And, um, you know, and I, um, I never set out actually because I was a, you know, you know me, I was a, I was a hardcore mobile guy. Right. I mean, yeah. you know, and I can quote unquote kind of still say I am. I mean, I, yeah. I was a mobile. That's how I started out. That was kind of like my first love. So I never, I never even thought about getting into a shop, really, because it just didn't make monetary sense. It's right. like you know, you only make it, and then especially with me doing, hey, and I came up with a name. I tell people now, it's a dual profession. I love that. I'm doing. It's yeah. A dual, by the way, I'm, for people who haven't listened, <laughs> you have the, I think, the most ideal setup ever. You have a full-time job yes. that is mainly nights. Yes. It's consistent. It's steady. It pays the bills. Yes. you got a retirement plan, all yes. that. And then so you can, when it comes to detailing, you can really not only pick and choose who you want to work with or for, yes. however, um, but it enables you to uh, – I lost my train of thought there. But anyway, you have the greatest situation ever. It's a lot yeah. of work yes. because you got a full-time gig, right? Yes. So detailing is your – Side hustle. Yes, I hate using. That it's word. my. It's, it's your passion. It's my passion. I your get. I, I, yeah, yeah. I tell people now. I get paid to do a passion. Yes. and I. I literally do. It's yep. like it's one thing, and I'm not knocking people having shops and all no. that kind of stuff. But when it starts to get all of these cars and all right. that, the passion. I mean, it, it, it can still work. be there, but it becomes a lot of work. Yep. So yep. I say, you know what? I'm getting paid to do a passion. Yeah. Um. I. You know. And like we said. And like I said before. Man, well, I've been so, I've been finding so I'm gonna actually really need to put it in the book because this model, I found so many benefits. Yep. I mean, I haven't put wear and tear on my body. Yep. The wear and tear that most cats are doing when you're out there grinding, I didn't have to do that. Yep. I didn't pick and choose my clients. Yep. I could do a lot of things. Well, leading to the the studio only began to make sense because of what the 
coatings have done for the industry. Yeah. I mean, I was doing, you know, I, I probably last year and the year before I tripled the year before I doubled my income. Last year I tripled my income. Dang. Just on coatings. I had, you know, they were coming to the house, dude. Right. I had I had right. Austin Martins parked on the street. I had brand new Mercedes, didn't even make it to the dealership from the boat to my house in the driveway. So, so this was a vision that you had, but in all honesty, it was getting to the point where it's like, did you get thrust into needing a shop sooner than you had originally no, thought? Okay. No, I didn't because, you know, uh, I've been I know you've researching, been wanting it for been a long watching time. it yeah. and kind of doing it. Yeah. But then what I did is I set out last year, I said, okay, if I can do the first year when it started getting hot, I said, oh, let me see. If I do one a month right. or a year... I'll kind of gauge it. I said that would at least pay for the thing. Right. That was my thinking. Right. So then I started the One second year. month would pay right. for your shop rent if you had the overhead. If they had the overhead, yeah. right. So then I said, okay. So I did whatever, and I, you know, I exceeded that a couple of times. You know, I started doing. But then last year, I said, okay, let me see if I can do two a month. Just because I want to make sure, you know, right. going into yeah, something, it's like yeah. a, it's a, it's it's a, a big, big payment. It's a big thing, especially going for mobile when you don't have that, and then sometimes we have weather that affects that. And, yes. and and it's funny because the guys that have a shop that have been mobile are like, I'll never go back to mobile. I w- make way more money in the shop. But when you're strictly mobile, it's hard to see that, right? And that's what yep. I love about this podcast is that it's so full circle that it's like, I, and I want to get to, we will get to that, but yes. I want to see how it's going because we haven't chatted for a couple of weeks. Yeah. And so, um, but it's hard to see that when you're strictly mobile because I'm like, yes. I, anyway, so... Yeah, so you set out for the goal for two a month. So for two a month. And I started... Out of the house. Out of the house. Yep. And I started I started doing three. It was one month where I did five. Wow. So it was like, okay, this is like... <laughs> Time to move. I can do, I can do this. So I, said, so I set out and for a goal. people were fine with going to the house. They were fine with okay. it. I had... Every once in a while, I can hear it in a person's right. voice. Yes. Like, where's your shop? Right. And I said, well, I'm home based. Right. And they were like, okay. You right. know, I said, you know, I'm licensed, I'm insured, fine. If you take it, fine. If not, if right. you take the bait, right. I was at that point where, and because I, I had my job, right. I didn't have to like sweat it all. Right, right. You know, coming in, come in, come in and get a glass coating or, right. you know, just, you know, just to get in. The, no, I didn't have to do that. So, right. fine. I just send it on down the road. I get it because. Yeah. Some people were driving some stuff that was like, hey, I'm going to leave my $100,000 right. car here with you. Right. So, there was up, but there was only, a, it was very few because I'm, I'm only doing enough to put money in my pocket and have fun with it. Right. So, it wasn't, wasn't like, it, it really didn't hurt me. So, I started doing more and more. I was doing averaging, I was averaging from three to four a month. So then, towards the end of the year, I said, "You know what? By spring of 2019, I want to have my shop." And I just put it out in the app, you know. Yeah. Yeah, and of yeah, course, yeah. you know me; I'm a man of prayer. So, yeah, yeah God is like, right. I think, I think we're ready. Yep. And yep. and so I started doing, you know, late, uh, late, earlier in the year, later in the year, I started putting my feet. I started looking. Yeah. I said, "Let me go out and start looking yep. and start." And that's how all that started happening. So I went into the new year. And next thing you know, boom. And, and it just like, fell into your lap. And it's like, dude. And I was like, dude, it's like everything. It's like it was really, I wanted it to be clean. Yep. I wanted it to be close to the house. Yep. It's like, wow. And so, you're five miles from your house. I'm five miles from the a house. A super clean uh, business park. A super clean shop. A nice size warehouse. A, a big roll-up door. Right across the way from a detail supply store, which is insane. <laughs> Crazy, right? Insane. I roll, I roll up there. I roll to the back, literally and thirty out. feet away. And they got their water, sure. and, and they have a coin operated dude. The so store you can, can fill be- up your water, right? Because one of the things that you were talking about, your landlord was worried about, is there's no direct hose bib outside, right? Yeah. Of course, that doesn't matter when you have your own tank. Really doesn't matter when your DI water is forty feet away from your own door. It's like I'm telling you, man. It it's was the most ideal. It's like I couldn't believe. But it. I love it's the like, progression of that. Of like, okay, let me let me set a goal, okay. and I think this is a good takeaway for people. Like, yeah. let me set it. Whether you just want to be full time mobile, even right? Like, right. Let me set a goal, an attainable goal, one a month, right? Codings. Right. You achieve that goal, fine. Let me see if I could get two. Right, and when I get two, I'm gonna get the shop. 
right? So you, you have a you have a goal, but then you also have a reward to that goal when you hit it. And then mm -hmm. you hit it, and then boom, now you're here. So yes. how long have you been in here? I've been in here, my lease started in June. Okay. And I actually got the keys mid-May because oh, the nice. person left in, in April and they okay. said, oh yeah, you, you can go in because they painted it, did got whatever, it. and they let me come in. And I'm thinking to myself, Dude, I'm gonna get a, I'm gonna get a jump start yep. on doing this stuff. And, and did that happen? No. Okay. <laughs> no, Jimbo. I didn't do my first big coding. I didn't do to the first week in July. Got it. So it and then it, and I started. You know, of course. Did, you know, did that panic set in a little bit? Yes, it did. Okay. It was real because I was it. like, wait, I have a mortgage. Because you went a whole month with nothing. Yeah. I went well, and no, I take that back because I did in Ju in um, June. I did two, but it was details. Got it. So it wasn't so like much. you know, it wasn't the thing that that's, right. that was paying the bills. Right, right, right. So, but I was you know, and then I and now I'm now I'm sitting here with real. I got a right. mortgage, uh -huh. and I have this lease. Yep. And combined is like uh, okay. So what are we doing? Right. Yep. Um, you know, I just, you know, I, but just, does that force you into, so does that force you into looking at everything, whether it's your, your Yelp profile, your Google business listing, your, your, your operation side of things to say, okay, mm -hmm. where do I need to tidy this up? Cause for me, I'll give you a short example, not to hijack this, but like mm -hmm. on my YouTube channel, right? So my YouTube channel was nothing stagnant. I grew it up a little bit. Then it got stagnant again, and then it grew a little bit, and then more recently it got stagnant. And when it gets stagnant, it's kind of like, hold on, let me reevaluate. Like, let me not rest on my laurels. Mm -hmm. What's going on here, right? And so I've tried to do a few things to, to kind of figure out that. And the same has happened with my detailing business. Is that what happened with yes. you? Like, hold on, let me yeah. reevaluate and let yep. me put in the work again. Yeah, because the thing that came to me, and I was telling people this, and I said, you know what? I have to think about this. This is like starting over. Right. It is. It's like starting over. The adjustment. The adjustment. Right. It's like starting over. Yep. So I said, like, okay, so what would I do being, you know, what would I do if I right. was starting over? Okay. So I started to work it. Uh, of course, I went to my, my Yelp page. Yep. Okay, so the, the um, thing was on there. Got it. I had, uh, I did those flyers, yep. which I haven't really started handing out too much. But I went course, to, you know, busy. yeah, but, but I got flyers with the uh -huh. address. Now I'm running a special. Got it. And, um, but yeah, I had to look at, I had to look at those things and, okay, I need to tweak this a little bit more. Right. And then I, and then somebody was, I was talking to somebody and it was like, Cause we was talking about this before. He said, "Man, you OG, man. You open up a shop. Then people are gonna be coming from everywhere. You know your reputation, all right, that. Right, yeah, that right. That's all good. That's all good and dandy, but right. okay. Right. But one thing I remembered, I thought about. It's like, okay, it's June. It's graduation, and it's summer. Got it. So that's when I said, okay, I, I just need to make it through this patch. Got it. I gotta make it through this patch. And sure enough, the first week in July, boom, boom I got bad. hit." And what I started to also notice is like when this person who, who found me, she found me from the internet. Mm -hmm. And she would want the ceramic coating, particularly ceramic pro. What she said, the first thing she said to me, she says, you know what, you have one of the reasons we picked you is because you have good rating. Mm -hmm. I said, okay. So I said, okay. And then so I started talking to her and I was actually at Arrow. Okay. Yeah, at yeah, Arrow yeah, Detailing. Yeah, yeah. And I got a little thing that I'm not okay. going to disclose yeah, everything, yeah. but, yeah. uh, but anyway, I they was have there. a phenomenal shot. Are they, how close are they to here? Dude, they're like in Bellflower, man. Okay. They're like, yeah, cause I went up there. I went up there and, uh, good man. Thank you boss. Thank you, man. I, uh, I went over there and I was actually really, we could talk about it okay. after, but I was pretty surprised by their whole operation. Oh yeah, dude, 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 dude is like, he's yeah. international dude. He's yeah. legit. And I'll tell you, he's legit. I go way back with them. Oh, okay. With Interesting. like finding out their products and, and everything like that. But, um, so I started. I started to. Uh, I started to look at what it is that I'm doing. So I went to my Yelp. Yep. I went to uh, um, the Google AdWords. I haven't done anything with that yet, but I'm trying to look yep. into it to see how I can tweak it. Right. Get more people. But she was saying that you had good ratings, and it that a light went on. Okay. To me, and I said okay, and she found me on. She just Googled me. Right. And she was from South Pasadena. Which I was. Is, right. <laughs> I was on the phone with her for like 15 minutes explaining coatings and she says you know I got some other quotes and they were a little bit high so I broke down and said well look 
you know, if you're looking for Ceramic Pro, I said, that's one of the problems that they have is like, they have a mapping, but mm -hmm. it's like people are kind of all over the place, which right. it is what it is. I tell her, I go by, this is the mapping that they gave me, plus my prep or my paint correction, sure. whatever that is, is on top of that. Right. This is my price. This is what I do. At the end, when it was all said and done, she says, you know what? You sound like you're very honest and you're going to be our guy. And I said, okay. And, you know, in the business, people say that all the time and you never hear from them. Right. But they were waiting for their car. Their car was like three weeks out. Uh, I said, okay, no problem. I didn't think nothing of it. Right, you know, right, I'm, right. I'm over here. Another phone call. I'm over, yeah, yeah, I'm over here like trying to <laughs> right. make it all happen. Right. And the first week in July, this lady calls me. We have our car. We're ready. It's like, what? She said, yeah, we want to get this and this and this and this. And, and they're going to bring it to you. Yeah. And they brought it to me. They drove it to me. And, and was that an issue? So I know that's like, even me, that's one thing I worry about is like, I've been mobile for so long. Do people bring the car to me now with Uber and Lyft and right, all right. that? It makes it a little bit makes easier. A little bit easier. You know? However, you're talking South Pasadena yeah. to Santa Fe Springs. That's what? A 45 minute it was, drive? It was about a 45 minute. I looked on the map and it's like, it was like, I thought it was more, but it was about 25 miles. Okay. Which so, is not, I mean, but it it's still on traffic. It spends right? on traffic. So, but think about it from your, if you didn't have a shop, that adds at least probably an hour to an hour and a half yes. worth of travel time. Yes. So you're automatically going to be potentially more profitable yes. because I'm you winning. Tear, all I'm that, winning. right? And, and the, you get to do it here. Yes. Okay. And the thing, you Jimbo, that made it different <laughs> that more of my... Because when she she said it about my my um the uh, the way that you handle it, mm. and this is another thing that this is another egg that I'm cracking open because now, quote unquote, when the, the guys told me about my reputation, right, it makes a difference now because they look on my thing, they see my website, they're more apt to come to me, and especially for the coatings because okay. I can't. I can do it in your garage, but, but uh, if you yeah. want it done right, bring it to me. Bring it to me. And they, everyone wants it done right. And everybody wants it done right. Right. So it why can't be done with... mobile. You've done it a bunch of mobile. <laughs> you can, you can, <laughs> you can fudge it. <laughs> you can fudge it, but yes. that's a lot of work. But it's not right. ideal. Because I have to bring lights. Right. I bring a table, right. yep. all this kind of stuff. I'm going like, yep. then I get up there and then, yep. oh, you're, oh, you know, can you move these boxes out of yep. the way? I'm going like, then 100%. I got to, and then particularly with Ceramic Pro, right. it's the two layer thing. So I got to come back the next yes. day. I'm going there you like, go, right? So that now you're at three hours of travel time, right? Yep. Set up, tear down, set up, tear down. I mean, you're set in the time savings alone, you're essentially getting the coding done in that, just what you saved in time. Yep. Maybe even halfway. Uh -huh. you know? Because especially when they bring in here and you tell them two days. Right. Even three. They, that, that lady. That's a whole nother <laughs> thing, right? That's a whole nother thing is that when you tell them, yeah, pick it up in two or three days, they literally think you spent three days on it. And with you yes. having another full-time job, you get a couple hours here, a couple hours there. It makes, it makes, makes a big It difference. makes a big difference. Right. And, and they're going to get a better product because yep. even though you didn't spend three days on it, well, you did, but you didn't. Right. You know, you're you're more refreshed doing it. Yes. Right. So exactly. you're gonna deliver a better. Exactly. It's a huge win yeah. all around. Yeah. And it's and it's so good for me because I'm still making money. Yep. I'm not killing myself. Right. So I'm okay with not. You know, I'm not. I don't have to do one every day. Right. 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 It's, that's the beauty of like right. difference from just doing detailing and right. having a detailing shop right you're like okay i gotta do x amount of detailers a week yeah. to make for pay for this play yeah. and then i got my man over here i gotta pay him and yeah. feeding his family yeah where it's like look dude it's like i'm by appointment only still yeah if i do one a week i'm good i'm styling they can come and bring the car this lady this lady brought the car on a wednesday or a thursday and they didn't pick it up till sunday I was, and I got the windows tinted. She uh, went down the street, and right here in the corner, there's a right. dude that's been here for 20 years. I gave Sign him up. a $600 job, and he, all he did was look at me and say, oh, thank you for the business. I was like, okay, that's not really how this works, but <laughs> right. we're good, though. We're good. From here on, we're good. <laughs> yeah. I, I got some other 
neighborhood guys. Yes. Like there's extreme tent that's been in business okay. for a long time. Right. And they're right up the street. So yeah, I don't like, know. Uh, but I but I tried I did the olive branch. I've been over there three or four times. Got it. And then when and he I didn't get it. Yeah. And then when I brought the lady, he asked me for a card. And I said, Well I gave you several cards already and I told you that I was your neighbor. Oh I thought you were my neighbor from around here. No man, I told you I was right here, but it's all good. I didn't you know I yeah. didn't Never mind. I'm no. good, man. Yeah. I'm good. But yeah, so I think the combination of my reputation, right. the way I'm ha- and that was another thing that brought up to me customer service. Yeah. Is huge. is is huge. Yeah. And we need to ca- I mean, I've been capitalizing on it for years now because one time and I think I said this in the other podcast, I went to Chase and I'm sitting on the yeah. thing and there's no, I want to talk to somebody. Right. And right, right. that's what people, if you take the time to talk to them. Yeah, and explain and to them. And explain to them. Right. They're like. It's oh. very hard to put yourself in the shoes of the consumer, but I think it, it makes a lot more sense when you do it in other, uh, say you're looking for a restaurant to go eat. Yes. Or, mm-hmm. or you're looking for a plumber or your AC goes out or whatever. Or my example, I was looking for a children's dentist. Okay. Right? And it's like, you really start to look at like, what does their website look like? Like, how is it presentable? And I honestly made decisions based on what the my kid's potential dentist website looked like. And I was like, whoa, I need to step back and make sure my website's on point. Because people are doing this to me. Yes. You know? And, yes. and little things like that. And yeah. when I went to the dentist, that they had an iPad that I filled out. Not a bunch of paper. It looked nice. It was clean. It was like, whoa, I need to make sure that I'm, yep. I don't get lax... Yep. With how I look yep. and present myself, because yep. Yep. maybe people look at that and don't even give you the chance That's right. to, you know. That's and it's right. like, honestly, I don't even care where the dentist went to school, you know, right. because the first impression was, how is his website? Not where right. did he go to school? Right. Turns out he yeah. went to UCLA and whatever, and, but that didn't even matter to me. And they're doing this. They're doing this. They're doing. Yep. They're doing more mobile stuff right yep. now. So they're they're looking and going like, oh, how many yep. reviews or yep. or what what what, what, what are people what, saying? What are people saying and stuff yep. like that? That's where, and yep. so that's where, and it was so key because Adam Cote, he yep. was, man, dude, that dude is like Smart. a genius. Yep. When, and he <laughs> said something to me on the last, I went, again, always continue to educate myself. Yep. I went to another training, and this okay. is like my third training with Ceramic Pro, yep. but this dude, he's like, man, he got on the phone, he talked about internet presence. Yep. And dude, he got on the phone, and he pulled this thing up in his area, and every area he went to, his company came up first. Every when he went to Yelp, when yep. he went to Google, when he went to here, when he went to there, and he says internet presence. And I thought I took that, I wrote that. Yep. You know, I wrote that down. Yep. And I said, okay, you know, so I'm gonna pick his brain. So yep. I, you know, I talked to him a little bit and kind of find out what that was that talking about. I'm going yep. like, that makes sense. So now when they go online down there in that area, it's all him. It's all him. They can't escape it. And he said, you know, and all he has to do is get on every once in a while, post. Do this, right, do the videos, right. all of that, because that's all part of it. Right. So, mm. you know, yeah. I was like, wow, dude, because it's like, you know, because they're running shops. Right. They have to get people in there. Right. So my thought was, I got to look at these people and 100%. see what they're doing to, to help, to yeah. help, to help me kind of get going, get in the game. Yep. Yeah. So what, what are, what are a couple things that you've realized or, and it could be small things like the airflow or, or whatever, right? Like. What are a couple things that happened to you or have happened in the past month and a half or two months since having this place that you didn't realize about a shop? Could be bad, could be good, could be amazing. Like, what, what are a couple I, things that you're um, like, man, I never thought about that? Uh, well, the, the one thing was, like you said, about the airflow. And from working outside and then I'm spraying chemicals. Right. And matter of fact, I was doing a sport job and I'm spraying on the thing. And it's literally making a cloud that's in my face and going up my nose. Got it. And I'm going like, so, okay, I have to, you know, of course, you know, we know we're supposed to wear protective stuff sure. and mask and all that. But it was, it was different for me because now it's staying in a cloud and it's not moving. Right. Because you're in the shop versus being outside. Versus being outside. Right. So that was, that was one. And then, um, and then also just because this particular place doesn't have windows, there was no airflow. Got it. And I'm working and sweating like a pig and I'm going <laughs> right. like what the heck's going on oh right. well there's no airflow in here uh-huh. okay so I, I gotta get a fan I gotta get something get it moving could you get another this is totally off topic yeah. but can you get another one of those 
out there? No. Okay. Because they have the little... We're talking um, about the AC, yeah. the on-the-wall AC. Yeah, because they have the condenser that has to be outside. Got it. So, uh, because they make they make these, call, they call them like splits or something, something. Okay. And some guys have those in their shop, but they're able to drill and put the thing outside because the condenser has to be outside. So that one's already on the roof. That one's already on the roof. Got it. And you couldn't put a bit, you couldn't put another one on the roof? Or it'd be too much. Yeah, it'd be too much. Got it. And this place has to look like this when I leave. Yeah, you don't own it. And you don't own it. Right. So that makes it makes a difference. Okay. Got it. So anyway, and then and then I and then I can't and I because I started doing my research and right. I looked at also swamp coolers, but right. swamp okay. coolers need water hookup. They have to hook up to the hose because mm-hmm. they would act ideally that would work because that's what a lot Can of guys use. Can you tap use. into the bathroom ho- water? Mm, I don't know. I didn't or, look. Or again, too much. Yeah, got yeah, it. But I, I didn't look in. But I didn't think about that. Got but it. that's something to think about. But I don't know. I don't you know, know how swamp cooler even works. Yeah, but swamp. Yeah, they just have to have a water hookup. Got it. So you can fill the tank. Gotcha. So okay. um, maybe you could tap into the because there's yeah. water running into the yeah, ex- bathroom. Yeah, actually. So I, you know, that, that when you say that, I, yeah. I can I can look into that. But that's um, so the airflow thing and, and not getting the natural like uh, filter by being outside by right? being outside right. Um, the um, the other thing is adjusting to coming back and forth. Got it. Um, right. It's been, it's, normally home base is home. Yeah, I go home <laughs> right. and I jump out the car, I take a shower, <laughs> and I go to bed, and then I go and do right. my thing. Now I have to time. I have to come back. Got it. I have to drop it off. Then I have to go home. So got all it. of that has to be in a time. It's a. It's worth it. Right. But it's it's just an adjustment. It's of an your adjustment routine of right? my routine. So because how long does it take you to get from work, your real job, to here, or vice versa? Um, it's still only like about mm, about twenty minutes. Oh, nice. It's like twenty minutes. Okay. So what I'll do, but I still go home. Got it. But okay. I get off at five thirty. I'm home at six. Got it. Okay. Then I lay down. I do my thing. I lay down. Yeah. And then I get up about nine. I don't do anything before ten. Still, which is cool because yep. you know. Yep. So, but that's so that's kind of been my routine. And uh, gosh, that's crazy. You can run off that little sleep. It's well, you know what? It's something that's been all over the years. Got it. I've been doing this now. I worked for Saddleback for six years, and my body has just adjusted to power naps. Got it. And so, as long as I'm still... You need a couch in here. Yeah, well, you know what? I'm going to make me... I'm going to cut me out a little alcove. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm going to put me a little chase lounge. Yep. A TV where I can have some Netflix. Okay. Because I don't have any place to, like... If I want to just, like, put my head back and say, you know what? It's, you know, I can't do anything right now. I'm waiting. I want to... I'm going to cut me out a little spot. Because one of the guys, one of the neighbors, he had stuff that he... He was storing his cars and stuff in there, but he made him... He put carpet down. He, <laughs> he had was TV. living there. He was like, dude, it's like. So I said, oh yeah, I just you know right. cut me out a little space over there somewhere where yep. I can go and sit down. Had the I already had the microwave out there, yep. but have microwave. Yep. Have my little refrigerator. Yep. And make it kind of like make yep. it kind of like that. So that's awesome. So you're doing the internet thing to help. Yes. Drive leads. You've gotten two, three, four phone calls while we've been sitting here. Anyway, I've only been here an hour. Right. And freaking your phone's blown up. That's <laughs> awesome. So summertime, getting into it. Yes. Um, that's amazing. What? What? Um, this is one of the last things I want to ask okay. is like, what? What would you say to someone who was in your shoes, mm-hmm. wanting a place, like knowing what you know now, with having a place and how it kind of developed and and kind of evolved, okay. I guess, for lack of a better term. What would you tell to the person who's Mobile, strictly mobile, wants a shop, wants to grow and do it, but has the same concerns that you did. You know, you know, the overhead, the what if it's slow for a month or two? Like, what is it worth it? Would you, what would you tell them? I, I think it ha- you have to, and I've been saying this like for a while too, and you know, with some of the, with some of the people that I share with, this industry is the one thing I love about this industry, and I've said it before on, on other podcasts, but the beauty about this industry is you can do it so many different ways. You have to find out what way you want to do it, and then you start to put it together how you want to do it. Like, okay. for instance, for me, when I found out, I didn't get deterred by people opening shops. 
Got and it. guys say, hey man, you should open up a shop. I'm making this. I'm doing this. Okay, that's fine and dandy, but that's not what I want to do. Got it. I need. I want you need to find out because this goes back to when I even started and I started doing cars and I found out. I said, wait a minute, I'm gonna be a car washer. Right. Because that's the bread and butter. Right. So I made up in my mind right then and there. That's not what I got into it for. Got it. I got into it because I have a love for cars. Yep. I want to make cars look nice one at a time. How can I do that? Mm. Oh, you got to get a job. How can I do that? How can I do one car at a time, right. have fun, and be a passion, and get paid for it? Well, one. the other one is you work on your skill set. Get right. your skill set done because I used to get kind of clowned a little bit when they said, Oh, what do you do? I said, Oh, I'm just doing it part-time. Oh, you ain't nobody. And then I said, okay, no problem. Right. Let me switch up. Let me switch that verbiage. Let me switch that verbiage up. I said, yeah, let me get my skill set. So that's when I jumped in NXT. I got into all this stuff. I got into the whole. Yes. Got into knee deep. So now it's 27 years later. Right. uh, Right. I'm sorry, but I'm I'm right there with you. Right. And it's it's cool. Right. But I think that finding out what it is that you want to get out of, if you want to get multiple rigs, and you want to do that, right. then do that. Got it. If you want to have some rigs and have a shop, do that. But you have to kind of know what it is that you want to do and get out of this business. Yep. And then you formulate it. Love you that. actually mold it yes. to what you want. That's the beauty of it. You can mold it. Yes. And that's why I call it a model. This thing is working for me the way I want it to work for me. It's like, it's so funny because I tell people now, I'm on a six-year plan. And they're going like, what's the six-year plan? Well, in six years, I'm retiring from the college with full benefits, yep. uh, a pension, and in six years, this will be running yep. Yep. the way, preferably, it'll be running the yep. way I want. So in six years, I can stand back and go like, you know what? What, what do I want to do now? Yep. Because at, at, in six years, I will be 67 years old. Thank God, if I make it that long. You will. But, um, you, you know, I, I, at 67, right. I don't want to really be bending down and, sure, and doing that. I, right. You know, I don't want to be doing that. That's not part of my plan. Part so my plan. model was, you know, yes. so a model, my model was like, dude, I can get this thing up and running where it's making money. And Jimbo, the other reason, too, when I started thinking about the plan, I was like, wait a minute. And we talked about this before. The coding thing is going to start... It's still sure. kind of, it hasn't yeah. peaked hasn't all peaked, the way but yet, it's but it's getting there. So I was like, I thought, well, if I start, I should get it now so I can get the money now. Yep. So I can be in a position, even if I have one or two guys here, I'm still going to be making, right. I got the potential to make a lot of money and stack that money or yep. invest it or do whatever yep. because, you know, I hate, I hate to use the word cash cow, yep. but... It's, you know what I mean? Yep. So that was my other reason for opening it now. So then when I retire from the college, yep. you know, I might be doing, I like, maybe we, I might be doing a podcast in <laughs> Tex- <laughs> Texas somewhere. I might be calling you like, hey, dude, I'm right. getting ready to do this well, seminar or right. whatever it might be. And, and we're, we're, we're in Texas, man. Turn us on. Look, yep. This is where I'm at right now. That's kind of where, but but it came back to me looking at, what it is that I wanted out of this what thing. You because, want. Right. right. Not what someone else wants for you, not what someone else did. Right. All that. And you know how so much this industry dictates. Yep. People look at that and they're going like, okay, I have to do it that way. Right. I'm going like, no, no you, you really don't. That's what I was just recently looking at. Um, uh, oh, my man, he's in, he's in uh, Tulsa. Okay. He does uh, something yeah. solutions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. DJ. Yeah, DJ right. and then his, Marty. And Marty. Yep. And I was like, I've been catching a couple of his things. I'm going right. like, this, you know, I mean, I've been, I've known him, Marty, ever since he came to SEMA yep. and things like that. Yep. But, dudes. you know, they're good people and they, they, they make sense about what they're doing because people, we can't get locked into so many different things that people are doing. These yep. guys, you know, if you want to be a paint correction expert, fine. That's do what it. you want to do, but yeah. do that. Do that and, and, be, and be good at it, do whatever, but... When I had to look at, okay, I need to take care of my family. Right. I need to do this. And that's when I say And every myself, area is different, too. How Detailers in our neck of the woods, it's a different market than yes. Tulsa, than right. it is in Texas, and it is in Washington, all over the place, right? So 
really takes an understanding of what you yes. want and what your market is, What's right? Market maybe is. you might have to target your market to a different city mm-hmm. or a local town or a different county mm-hmm. or whatever, you know, but but I think that I, I love that. I think that is perfect advice of like what do you want? Yes. Because what Claude wants is different than what Jimbo wants. Yep. Which is different than what DJ and Marty... Because DJ has like three or four mobile yep. trucks, yep. right? Yep. And then Marty has his whole like distribution business. Right. And it's like, it's a different model yep. for everyone. It's and this for industry, that's what's cool about this industry, right. though, is that you talked about the guy with the extension cords. And then we got Chris West, who does the trick. Like, there, it is whatever you want it to be. Yeah, exactly. So you just need to figure out what you want it to be and then map towards that and map do things that... that that work towards that, and it's because I even looked at I even looked at my market because sometimes right. you know, I look at people and I see stuff that they're doing. I'm like, dang man, I don't I don't even think I don't even think I've ever I've even touched a Lambo, right? You know, I do nice stuff, but I I just don't do that. But my market is at the point where um I'm kind of like it's raw it's wide. I do, you know, I don't have to do a hot of right. the whole like really beat up soccer mom cars, yeah, yeah. but I'm doing the, the, average, the average great person's Mercedes, cars. The yeah. great Audi, the yeah. great whatever, right? And so that's a, that my market is like right there because where, yeah. you know, to where I can, you know, I can get, you know, I can get 75, 85 for a paint correction and, right. be, and be okay with that. Right. You know what I'm saying? But And right. then if I need to tone it down, I can tone it down too. for the average Joe that's trying to spend their 100%. money and trying to, yep. and that's, that's where I think that it, like I said, you got to make it work for you, yep. you know, and, and so, you know, I don't have to, I don't have to lowball prices or anything right. because, hey, I, I, I'm worthy of my, my pay. Sure. And that's the other thing, too, is that people, as you're growing and as you're doing, you have to know what you're worth. Mm-hmm. And you put that into the equation of what you're worth. Right. You know, like for a long time, I've never had, I've never had a menu. Right. I'm all, I'm all hourly. And I can do, you know, because I can look at a car and say, okay, yeah, that's right. going to be five hours. Right. Instead of, well, I'll do a mini detail or I'll do right. an exterior detail and right. an interior and it's this much and all that. What is it that you want? And right. that's the other thing that I bring to it. I make it more personal. Yeah. It's like, bring your car in. Let me do an eval. Love that. And then sometimes, depending on as you feel the customer out, you say, okay, so you can right. ask the question, what's your budget? If you need to go there. Right. Some customers, I don't have to do that. Right. Some customers, they're looking and they're thinking. I'm going, okay, what's your budget? Well, I got this and this and this. Okay, you know what? Here, let me do a light polish, a decon, yeah. put this on your car, and then come back in a couple of weeks and maybe we'll do the interior if you're really that busy. But yeah. right now, it's most important to take care of your paint. Right. Yep. Yep. And it may, I'm telling you, man, it's... Love and that. people, they eat that up because yeah. they're like, wow, you took the time out. And you didn't just blanket me into some package or something, or you actually are are worried about me. Exactly. You actually care about me. And that's... I'm in good hands. Yes. And that's what's been really taking me, is, that's what's been really been taking me up. That's my neighbor. That's what's been really been, and he's a graphic dude. And he went, oh, oh I'm going to do your sign. He keeps saying, I'm going to do your uh, sign. Nice. Just give me a, a, a what is it, the... Uh, Vector file. Okay. Nice. So he said he's gonna hook me up, man. Awesome. He's like, I'll do it for free, man. It's no problem. <laughs> so he's got man, he's got plotters in there oh, and wow. everything, dude. So it's That's like I've been sure. going around trying to find like what my neighbors do yep. and everything like that, you awesome. know, barter for some stuff. Yeah. Yep. But yep. but yeah, so you know, so so I think that that's really been 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 really molding me and now that I have the shop, you know, I can do that customer service thing yep. and do that go that extra mile and you know what, yeah, it's just do you open on Saturday? They say, Well I normally I do by you know, because I'm trying to get to the point where I don't have to work on Saturdays. Right. Because I got to, like, not, I'm already, like, I don't even really do things on Fridays, but right. I can make an exception because, you know, my work schedule makes, I'm at 4 o'clock, I have to be at the college. Got it. Okay. But I can make an and exception. And how long does it take you to get to there? From here? Yeah, on a weekday like that. Um, half hour? Start. I don't know, probably a half hour. It's about the same because yeah. I just go down go down the way that I go yeah, but yeah. I'm usually not here I'm usually leaving Got from it. home okay. anytime that I'm doing but I have the I have the flexibility right. to like if somebody calls me and say man I can only get it there on Friday okay well right. I could pick it up on Friday but I can't work on it until this day right, or whatever right. and, and again it's nice to have the shop because you can pick it up and leave it you know hey it'll be done on Wednesday exactly <laughs> you, know? you know and they think you worked on it yeah and I don't have a whole bunch of people that I'm worried about. Right. That's the thing. 
about it, I love about it too, is like, I'm not sitting here, it's like, dude, I got like four cars out right. there. I come, man, let me call Jimbo, man. Right. Jimbo, what you doing this weekend, man? Can I do this? Can then you they, Right. Dude, I don't want to do that to myself, dude. It's like, right. why do that? It's like, yeah. you know what? Here, call this guy. He's close to you. And that's another thing that I started to do, you know, especially like with my clients that are out. further out now. Yeah. It's like, and I'm only going to go for a maintenance wash, right. dude. It's Forget like, it. you know, four hours guy. on the road. It's like, no. You know, here, call this guy. You know, he's part of the IDA, blah, 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 blah. And so I I can count on my hand the clients that I have. And they've been longtime clients. And, you know, I don't even even really call them on a regular basis. I got one that's every other week. And I'll go to him, but yeah. the other ones, it's like they kind of, kind of like fell off, and right. it's okay. Right. Every once in a while, they, hey, where you been? Can you come by? Sure, no problem. Right, right. I'll set you up on a date. Right. Totally. So love that. But it's yeah, finding that, finding you know what what it is that you want to get yeah. from the industry, That's great. That's and because great there's tip. so many ways that you can go and make up in your mind what it is. That you wanted to do for you, yep. and I think that you you'll be successful because that's what I did for me. I was like, you know, because like I said, I never wanted to really open up a shop, but it only it got to the point where it's like, dude, you had to. If I'm gonna do this yep. and do it nice, yep. and that's the other thing, doing it right. Yeah. If you're gonna do something, yeah, then do it right. If the coatings are kind of demanding to be in a shop. You need to look at that and say, yes, okay, right. Okay, I need to get there because it's demanding. Yeah, it needs that. You know, the garage thing, it's Works, cool, but right. it's, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? It yeah. kind because of, it started getting to the point where it was like I even started. I thought about it before, but when I was making money, I didn't really think about it. Right. But people come to the house, and what if you get an irate customer? You know what I'm saying? Totally. You know, you, you, I got you, it. your privacy is like, it's gone. like, it's like, it's gone. Yeah. Now no one knows where you live. They Nobody knows know. where I live, man. And it's more professional when they yeah. come. It's like, hey, I'm outside the building. Yeah. You open up the door. They're yeah. like, wow. Oh, cool. I want to, dr- I want to drop my car off yep. here. So comfortable. So yeah, yeah. man. So this That's is awesome. This I love is, how this has been full circle and, and this yeah. is so cool. So if people, and I, I want to encourage them to want to follow you, want to see what you're doing, want to reach out to you. How can they find you online? How can they how can they pick your brain? How can they it, send a word of encouragement? All that. Okay. Um, I'm on, on Instagram. I'm on Appearance Detail. At Appearance okay. Detail. Um, on Facebook is um, I have Final Appearance Detailing and Protection okay. on Facebook. Perfect. My also my personal Claudius A Harris Jr. Yep. Because you know how we combine things now, so we have yep. it all together. That's another way. Yep. And then by email, it's final a detail at gmail dot com. Perfect, man. And um, yeah, I have the uh, website. It's finalappearance dot net. Perfect. I also have finalappearancedetail dot com. Perfect. Which is my um. I want to say, what is it? It is Ceramic Pro website. Got it. Okay. So they're doing that now with some of the installers. They're, um, and stuff. yeah, they're, they're, they're giving okay. you websites. You just have to pay for the hosting. Yep. So it's like nice. dedicated. I even got them. They got my address on there. So it's dedicated nice. for the coding. Got it. So I'm going to start to go in there and tweak that a little yep. bit more. But as I'm, you know, posting or doing whatever, it's like, you know, put that kind of tag in there for finalappearance.com. Yep. And it's also bringing, it was funny because it's also bringing in more. I have, I also have a website with 411 Local, okay. which I was messing around with them, but I was like, ah, but then when they got the, the hosted, they got the, um, uh, the web, what is it? The, um, I can't think of it right now, but the, um, anyway, they have finalappearance.com. Got it. Okay. And. They set up their own thing or whatever, but it's finalappearance.com, it's finalappearancedetail.com. So somebody was saying, like, dude, if they start typing in a couple of letters, you're everywhere. You're everywhere, and that's gonna drive in more, it's gonna drive in more business and drive, you know, all they gotta do is type a couple of things, and then you're gonna be, you're gonna gonna be coming up. So, um, but yeah, man. So, I'm encouraged. Thanks for doing this. Thanks for having me out. I'll come back. You're close. I love it. Yeah, I love it. Yes, sir. Thank you, Jimbo.